has gone absolutely nowhere. They've been flat. Americans have continued to have a better and better material standard of living by working more hours, taking less vacations, and borrowing like there was no tomorrow. And the problem we have now is they cannot borrow that much again. And if Americans don't borrow and their wages don't go up and they're not significantly going up, then Americans have to buy a lot less of the world's goods. This becomes a problem because 70% of the U.S. GDP is private consumption and America is 22% of the world. That basically means 15% of the economic activity on this earth is American private consumption. If that turns down, which it has, and if it stays down, which it likely will, this means we've basically pushed down the level of economic activity for all 6.2 billion people on earth. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. David Walker is the Controller General of the United States, the head of a nonpartisan government accountability office, and he says that's a warning that's worth heeding. In a recent speech reported in the Financial Times, Walker says the United States could face the same fate as the Roman Empire if we don't change our ways and soon. Walker says the U.S. is on a, quote, burning platform. Our overstretched military, growing debt, underfunded health care, and lack of immigration policy could all contribute to our downfall unless we summon the national will to act. We've known about and ignored most of this stuff for years. It's just that now, according to Walker, the window in which to fix these things is beginning to close. The future will be a total disaster with the collapse of our capitalistic system as we know it today, wars, massive government debt defaults, and the impoverishment of large segments of Western society. That's according to our guest today, Mark Faber. He's the editor of the Gloom, Boom, and Doom Report. So there's the, the gloom and the doom. Yes. Mark, uh, <laughs> yes. what are you so concerned about? Government debt is rising everywhere. We have stimulus packages. We have central banks that basically will print money, not just here in the United States. They have no other option and to keep the system going and so this will be negative for the western world compared to emerging economies. It's going to be the trigger. Well, We're, You're talking about economic armageddon yes, here. Yes, absolutely. That I'm convinced. And uh, that is, I mean, a high confidence prediction that the total collapse will come and I'll explain how. The fiscal deficit of around two trillion dollars will add, of course, to government debt. It will be, in future, very difficult for the Federal Reserve to increase short-term rates because then the interest payments on the debt go up substantially. What is it like when capitalism collapses? What happens? Well, when it collapses, essentially, you have a, a currency reform that old money is then called back and you issue new money. So the dollars are going to get new dollars. It's yeah, be probably at way. some... When? When? Well, I think for the next crisis, which may happen in three years or in five years or in ten years. But one thing I want to stress, this crisis, nothing has been solved. That should be clear. The private sector, which is trying to deleverage, is offset by the government that is leveraging up. In other words, you don't reduce debts, you just essentially pile up on more debts, even more debts. And the problems haven't been solved, but they've been postponed. Back with David Vickers, Chief Investment Officer, Nine Points Capital Partners, staying with us live out of uh, Seattle, uh, Washington. Uh, David, you guys are uh, a hedge fund, and what you guys basically do is uh, you try and catch breaks either to the up or downside. Uh, apparently, with oil, also with gold, you've uh, done the timing pretty right. Currencies look weaker, all for the reasons that we talked about before. I mean, the, you've got huge wage disparities. I don't know how that inevitably resolves itself. Um, it may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government, uh, a new global currency, um, and a new world order. Uh, so we may be moving towards that. Mm, talk to us a little bit more about this uh, currency crisis you see uh, erupting. What does that assume about what's going to happen to the dollar? Well, it, it assumes that the dollar will utterly get destroyed. 
and become virtually worthless. You know, we have.